cheek. Please don't give me hype. Right cheek, right cheek. Write my name in ice. ice. Real ass, real ass, real ass, real ass. Got this shit from Tina. I'm a Hey beauties, y'all see that bomb intro I just created using Canva while well, I'm about to show you exactly how I did it. So you're just going to go to YouTube intro on Canva and remember it is free. So this makes sure that your video has the proper dimensions and you don't have to worry about resizing it or anything like that. So they have plenty of templates that you can use, designs, all that stuff that are free for you to use. But I decided to start mine from scratch. So as I've mentioned in previous tech videos, you can upload your own videos to Canva. Just click and drag and drop right into Canva. And this is actually a little GIF or GIF that my Google Photos created for me of some different pictures that I had up. So I'm using this for the first page of my intro and I'm just going through and resizing it to make sure that it fits on the page and in the frame exactly how I want it. And that's the good thing about choosing this template or this format. It already has the correct sizing for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm just going in and adding my text. So in my intro, I just want people to know my name. So this is who I am. I'm going to put that first. So you know what page you're coming on to. All right, so I'm sizing it up, changing the color, picking my font. So remember Canva does have free fonts that everyone has access to, but there are also fonts that you can choose to pay for if you upgrade to Canva Pro. And you can also upload your own fonts. And here I'm adding an effect. This was neon, so it adds a nice glow to it. So I'm just trying to get it popping, you know, draw attention to it. All right, next I added this video, which was a little snippet from a video that I had uploaded on my YouTube. And on this page, I'm gonna put what my channel is about. So I do hair, beauty, lifestyle, mom life. That's the content that I tend to create. So I'm gonna put that on this page. So introduction is just like an intro to you, to your channel, to your page, what it's all about. So that's what I'm doing in my intro video here. You know, it's gonna go by very quick, but it'll catch somebody's attention. And then just adding that font there sizing it up and I, one thing that I like about Canva is adding the effects to my fonts to really make them pop out on the page and not just having a flat font. All right, now I'm going to another page yet again. So I'm adding some videos from my phone. I think these are from like Snapchat, Instagram. So I'm just adding these three videos and just sizing them up to fit on the page and they're all gonna actually play at the same time on my page or on this page during the intro. And then for this page, I'm going to put my Instagram. And I went back and put some frames in. So frames, you just click, you just click elements on the side and you can add these frames where you can put your pictures inside of it. You can choose to do this or not to. In the original version of my intro, cause I'm remaking this for you all, the one that I have playing at the beginning of this video doesn't have frames, but you can choose to use these frames and it will fit your picture inside the shape that it has there. So that's just to add a little more spice and funkiness to it. <laughs> and as I mentioned, I'm just going to put my Instagram social media handles and encourage the viewers to follow me. And then luckily here on Canva, they have some free Instagram, Facebook, Twitter logos that you can use for your designs. So I'm just gonna put those here. All right, I've added another page. So I'm gonna go back to my uploads and on this last page, I'm going to have a call to action, which is encouraging the viewers to subscribe to my channel. And here I'm putting a couple of fun videos of my daughter dancing and myself dancing as well, just because you know my daughter's featured on my channel. Um, in my mom life videos and she just pops up <laughs> and we like to have a good time so I'm encouraging everybody you want to have a good time come on and subscribe so I'm just gonna get these videos in here as I've done previously and get them sized up correctly on the page and since I want viewers to subscribe I'm gonna go to elements again and you can actually type in subscribe and some subscribe buttons will pop up 
So I'm gonna get that nice bright red one and then I'm going to add some text with my name. So I want them to subscribe to Nikea Jalen. You know, if they see this intro, they know that this is the page that I want them to subscribe to. All right, so here I'm going back to one of my pages and adding an element behind my handle name. It pops more and it brings more attention to it. So I put it over top of my name and then I clicked on send it to the back so that element can actually be behind my handle name. All right, next thing that I like to do is I like to add animations. There's different ones. Of course, there's some that are a part of Pro. So you can choose one animation to add to all the different pages of your intro, or you can choose to add different ones. So I'm just going through and I actually pick different ones for each page. Again, this just adds another element to your design it makes it different it makes it stand out so i would encourage you to do this and it helps to keep people's attention because you know we tend to have short attention spans so if you have all these nice transitions it'll keep their attention all right each slide i'm actually going to take down to about five or six seconds because i only want my intro to be about 10 to 15 seconds long approximately because I don't want it to be so long that people are over it and they click off of the video. So I went through each video and took the time down to about six seconds so that in total my intro will be 15 seconds. Or another way you can do this is actually, yeah, or you can actually just type it in for each video instead of sliding it through like I did. And I also went through and made sure to turn off the sound for all of my videos because these videos actually had sound and I want to add music when I edit it in my software. So I made sure that the sound was off for each one. And as you can see, I saw that my time was a little off. It was longer than I wanted it to be. So I just went back and edited some of the length of the videos, just making sure that I have them correct so that it's not too long. Or you could also just download it at the length it is and then chop it up in your editing software. And here's the intro all done. You all have already seen it. One last thing you can do is you can go back into Canva and you can actually add music. Canva has options for you to add music to your designs, especially your MP4 video designs. So you can go on the side and you will click on the more icon I believe <clears throat> and then you will go on music and you can add different music you will just have to connect your social media account and it gives you the license to use that music I chose to use my own music but once you add the music you download it save it and just add it to the beginning of all your videos all right, you all, this is just the way that I did my intro. There are so many different ways that you can do it, so many different elements that you can add to it. But I just wanted to show you all how I created mine to give you some inspiration and to give you some tips and tricks that I have learned through using Canva. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer you and help you out as much as possible. Remember, it's all trial and error. It's a learning experience. Nobody's perfect. So try it out, have fun, make mistakes, learn from them and see what happens. But that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. No comparison. Hey.